Uh, we're in the drive shafts uh, portion of our, our, of our school now. Um, we went ahead and took out a, a differential out of, the, out of the back of the International Semi here. And I just wanted to go over some of the parts and how they work. Um, your power comes in through your input, input shaft down here into your pinion gear. You can see that these gears are 8 up. Uh, that's the reason why it's not in the truck right now. Tapered bearing allows the pinion gear to spin uh, from the input shaft as well as a flat bearing here. Um, the pinion gear being spun from the input shaft spins your, your ring gear here. Um, now the reason of it, the purpose of a differential is to allow you to be able to turn corners without uh, without messing up any type of your drive system, like your input shafts and counter shaft. Uh, there's another uh, angle bearing here that allows it to spin on the other side. In any case, uh, well, like I said, like I already said, you have your ring gear here that the pinion gear spins uh, as you're going down the road. This is spinning freely like this. Pinion gears driving it. Your interior gears aren't spinning. This is a planetary system, uh, thrust bearing, and a side gear that allow the spider gears to spin. Now, when you go to turn a corner, uh, these spin to allow your wheel to spin faster or slower, depending if it's the interior of the corner or the outside wheel in which the corner you're spinning. Um, inside, your spider gears sit on a cross, like so, and another side gear, which is actually connected to your input shaft. This is the gear that drives the entire differential. Inside of there, we'll set the Another thrust, thrust washer in here. And this is the inside of the casing that, uh, that all the gears sit into. Now, all the all the gears have a thrust washer behind them. Supposed to. And that's the casing for your planetary system inside. Now, whenever you install them, you'll notice uh, your adjustment rings here. They actually move left to right to allow you to make the face of the ring gear hit the bit pinion gear. Uh, if it's too close or too far, you can adjust it by spinning your rings, by your adjustment rings here. Go ahead and mount everything back together, hold it back up, pull it back in the truck.